Warning, do not attempt to duplicate anything you see today at your own home, especially in your own basement. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. I have a fun one today. Um, a while ago I was looking at a video on YouTube with some rockets on a fidget spinner and I thought, yeah, I need to do that with hand planes. So this is gonna be a little bit different, but I actually wanna do a little bit of physics about the hand plane and what it takes to move one forward. So I have a uh, low angle jack. Um, this is often referred to as one of the easier planes to push through the wood. And then I also have a number three, a very small smoothing plane. Um, it is a smaller both in length and in width, um, has a smaller cutting range. So this uh, might actually be easier to push. So what I actually wanna do is use a spring scale and pull them through the wood and find out what actual force is required to uh, pull a hand plane through. And then we're going to take it outside and I'm going to start with some little B6s, see if I can push it through with that. Um, I don't know what the foot pound will, from the scale to the, to the engine will be. And then we're going to go up to some uh, E9s and see if we can get that to happen. If that doesn't happen, then I've got these E16s. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Let's go look at this. So this is actually the rig I'm gonna be using for this and it's a piece of poplar and um, we're putting rails on either side of it. Fairly easy to let it slide down this. Um, so I'm putting a spring scale on here and measuring and I'm finding out I need a little bit of a downward force. So I'm holding my fingers on the string to keep it down. But this plane is doing about uh, 15, maybe 18 pounds. Whereas the number three um, is barely getting up to 15, so it's usually somewhere around 12 pounds that needs to move it. So a fairly reliable amount of power, but completely within range of rockets. So one of the things I found when doing the test is not only do I need to have the force in line with the plane, I also need to have it angled down just a little bit. Um, if I were doing the edge of a board, um, I could probably do it without having much downward force, but making a full width shaving, I need a little bit of downward force for the blade to engage. Um, so I'm going to be strapping on the rockets um, onto the handle. I think putting them up a little bit higher with an angle down will provide that downward thrust um, as well as pushing them forward. Now these are B6s. Um, it is a mid-range. Um, it's not the smallest, but they're not all that big. And these have about uh, two, uh, almost three pounds of thrust. Um, so I'm going to strap two of these on one on either side and just see how it does. And so for comparison, I'm going to strap two onto this one and two onto this one and uh, we will see how that goes. So let's uh, go outside and uh, jump onto it. Three, two, one. Two, one. Okay, number two. Three, two, one. Two, one. Okay, uh, so I learned a few things here. Um, number one, two B6s is not enough. Um, total thrust is just shy of six pounds of thrust. Um, and I really need to be at least 10 pounds of thrust for this one. And this one probably should be around 15 pounds of thrust, um, give or take. Um, so I I can put four of them on there, but I think I'm going to hold off on four um, and try and go up to the E9. Now the E9 has uh, what, almost six pounds of thrust, so if I put two of them on there, that will provide about 12 pounds of thrust, which should be plenty uh, for this one. So for this sake, I'm just going to do it on the, uh, the smaller number three and see how that goes um, and see if it's enough pressure to actually get it all the way down the board. Um, also, the other thing I noticed is that I'm... I'm burning out the inside here uh, with the uh, parachute ejection. Uh, so I'm gonna put some tin foil in there to try and protect it and see what happens with that. So uh, let's actually uh, go out and see how that goes. Prime, three, two, one. Well, there's that hand plane. So here's the damage. Uh, it uh, 
I fared fairly well except for the parachute ejection actually blew through the aluminum foil. Oh well. So I have some cleanup to do on that, but uh, she'll survive. <laughs> so, um, we'll see if I want to try the next larger one. And that's the wood curl from it. And even the all cotton towel is uh, burning. <laughs> it took a rocket straight into it for a little bit. Oh well. Okay, uh, so dual ignition was a little bit of a problem. You notice that one of them went off and the whole thing kind of cantilevered off to the other side. Uh, that's why I kind of had those bumpers on the side so it would, it would stay somewhat on track. Um, and also it blew through the aluminum foil. Um, so I'm kind of reluctant to use the number three again. I might use it if I strap four on there, um, but put up a thicker piece of uh, aluminum. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but for the next one, I think I'm gonna use the jack plane. It's gonna take a little bit more force, um, but with how much force I got from two of these moving this little one, I, I'm gonna try just one of these and see what this does on here. Um, and also, I wanna actually try putting it up a little bit higher. Uh, I think that having it up here, the angle of this will hold it fairly well. And also I can use just one, so I don't have to worry about simultaneous ignition. I can just use this one and try and push it forward. So let's strap this on there, go give this sucker a try, and uh, see what happens. Two, one. Okay, so one is not enough. Okay, uh, so using the E um, engine apparently wasn't enough. Uh, so I need a little bit more force to get this sucker down the road. Um, so I'm actually gonna go and try a bunch of things. I'm gonna try using four of the Bs. I'm gonna try using uh, two of the Es on this and see if we can get anything different. Um, the aluminum foil is enough on this. There's enough space in here that it actually protects it from the ejection, so that's not of a problem. Um, so I'll be using aluminum foil on these in the future. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if these don't work, then I have uh, two of these E16s. Uh, and these have, uh, what is the number on there? They're, what, almost 15 pounds of thrust. Um, so hopefully this will be enough. Um, you know, if two of these rocketed this uh, number three all over the place, if I put a single number three on here, um, I really can't put a single one on here. Um, this would be like crazy. So a single one of these is, I'm guessing, fairly equivalent to two of the, uh, the E9s, or close there too. So I'm going to strap this on here and put it on top and see what we get. Three, two, one. So what do you think? So I brought it over here to the table to see what's inside and check it out. We have wispy curls. <laughs> it works. You can plain wood with a rocket. Woohoo! <laughs> so there we go. The single E16 was enough to push this down the rank. And I like this being an angle. It actually provided the right amount of thrust and uh, really kind of cool. I was surprised a single rocket would do it. Um, and I got some nice curls from it. And I'm, I'm very happy. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to do an entire woodworking project with a, a rocket, but uh, yeah, it works. <laughs> Having a lot of fun. Okay, so the question of uh, can you have a rocket-powered hand plane? Yes, you can. And <laughs> I have to say I am impressed. That was a lot of fun and uh, kind of crazy. Yeah, um, I did, uh, you know, ding up my planes a little bit, but oh well, they're working planes and I will use them still. A little bit of oil and they'll be perfect to go. So <laughs> this is an interesting one for me. Uh, there will be more woodworking in the future, but I just had to try this once it popped into my brain. What would happen if you strapped a rocket onto a hand plane? Um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is try and get a Jado rocket and uh, do some wood milling. Yeah, let's get a log and, and fire a wedge through a uh, log with a Jado rocket. That, that sounds like a lot of fun. 
Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to be working on the bench and some other woodworking projects coming up. So stick around for that. I hope you like this video. It was a blast for me. Something a little bit different and uh, just a lot of fun. If you did like the video, please hit like and go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, I want to say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are really the reason why this channel is going today. If you'd like to find out about that, you can do so right over here. Also, if you like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.